Welcome to Bible Time with Mrs. Shirley at Walter Hill Church of Christ. Are your feet and hands still? Are your eyes ready to focus and your ears ready to listen to another lesson from God's Word? Tell of Bethlehem and Jerusalem, tell of places Jesus used to go. Tell of Galilee and Gethsemane, tell of Jesus for he loves me so. Bible stories, good for summer, winter, spring and fall. Bible stories, Bible stories are the best of all. Last time we were together, our word was betray. And who did we say betrayed Jesus? Judas. And do you remember how much money he got for betraying Jesus? 30 pieces of silver. It's time to find out what our word is for this week. Our word is deny. To deny means to say you don't want something or you don't know something. Um, for instance, if you asked me, would I like a piece of pie? And I say, no, thank you. I have just denied the pie. Or if a friend of mine receives a gift and it was a surprise and she doesn't know who it's from, she might come to me and say, Mrs. Shirley, did you give me that gift? And if I did not, I would say, no, I didn't give you that gift. I denied giving the gift. Let's see what the Bible says. Luke twenty-two thirty-four. Then he said, I tell you, Peter, the rooster shall not crow this day before you will deny three times that you know me. Who was talking in this scripture? Jesus. He was talking to Peter. Let's look at the whole story. Denials by Peter. Now Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard. A slave girl came to him and said, You were also with Jesus the Galilean, but he denied it in front of them all. I do not know what you are talking about. Then a little later, someone else saw him and said, You're one of them too. But Peter said, man, I am not. After about an hour, still another insisted, certainly this man was with him, for he too is a Galilean. Peter said, man, I do not know what you are talking about. At that moment, while he was still speaking, the rooster crowed. Then Jesus turned and looked straight at Peter. And Peter remembered the word of the Lord. Before the rooster crows today, you will have denied me three times. Peter realized that he had just denied Jesus three times, just like Jesus said was going to happen, and Peter felt really bad about it. Let's look at the story a little further and try to find out what happened to Judas, the one that had betrayed him. When it was early in the morning, all the chief priests and the elders of the people plotted against Jesus. They tied him up and led him away to Pilate, the governor. Now, when Judas, who had betrayed him, saw what was about to happen to Jesus, he regretted what he had done, and he returned the 30 silver coins to the chief priests and elders and said, I have sinned by betraying an innocent man. But the chief priests did not care that Judas felt bad. They got exactly what they wanted. So Judas threw the silver coins into the temple and left. He went out and hanged himself. The chief priests took the silver and said, It is not lawful to put this into the temple treasury. After consulting together, they bought the potter's field with it as a burial place for foreign people. This is such a sad story. Two people who should have been Jesus' friends really hurt Jesus' feelings. Peter felt really bad about denying Jesus, and Judas felt bad about betraying Jesus. But as far as we know, Judas never did repent and ask God to forgive him for that. And he could have, and God would have forgiven Judas. Peter did repent and changed his ways because Peter knew the scripture that says, Whoever denies me before men, I will also deny before my Father who is in heaven. 
Matthew 10, 33. Peter never denied Jesus again. In fact, Peter became the first gospel preacher. He used every opportunity possible to tell people about Jesus. Go out and tell it if you love my Jesus. Go out and tell it if you love my Lord. Oh, I want to know. Oh, I want to know if you love my Lord. He's my rock, my sword, my shield. He's the wheel in the middle of the wheel. He's the fairest of 10,000 to my soul. I don't care what people may say. I'm going to love him anyway. He's my rock, my sword, my shield. Praise the Lord. Tell people all about Jesus. I am the door, I am the vine, the way and the truth and the life. I am the good shepherd, the light of the world, and I am the bread of life. I am Jesus, the bright and morning star. He is the king of kings by far. Lion of Judah, Emmanuel, master and teacher and friend. I Jesus am the, the door, bright and I am the star. The way he is the, the king and of life. kings by far. I am Lion the good of shepherd, Judah, the Emmanuel, of the and I am the bread and of life. Friend. I am. I Jesus am the, the door, bright and I am the vine, star. The way is the king and of life. kings by far. I am Lion the good of shepherd, Judah, the Emmanuel, and I am the bread of life. I am. We never want to deny that we know Jesus, and we don't want to ever deny that we are a Christian. I am a C, I am a C-H, I am a C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N. Are you a C? Are you a C-H? Are you a C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N? Well, if you are, you'll go to heaven and live eternally. Praise the Lord, I am a C. I am a C-H, I am a C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N-R-U. This week, as you think about our word deny, never deny that you know Jesus and that you are a Christian. Always be ready to tell people about him. Have a great week.